a very good evening to everyone i hope everything is uh, clear my voice is clear as well as the slides are clear just let me know any one of you so welcome to global online and here we are with our uh, next crash course series that is the lecture 5 of crash course series for higher education system for ugc nta net paper 1 2022 batch and today is the fifth lecture of higher education system from tomorrow onwards we are going to start with a new unit and definitely we will come back to the next cycle also the same unit also will be taken with the new set of questions okay so yes before we go ahead quickly so as you know that a complete crash course series we have uh, started with that is under the global online and uh, from tomorrow onwards that is tomorrow is 11th may 2022 tomorrow we'll be having a new unit and the unit will be teaching aptitude now in teaching aptitude we are going to do those questions which we have not you know done any time before i'm um, some some extra questions not e e not even university questions nor even questions which we have done in the previous cycle we'll be doing a complete set of different questions so ensure that you are attending the classes on time uh what we have under this paper one course that is daily live lectures now live lectures are scheduled twice in a day morning at 7 between 7 to 7:30 okay those lectures are taken by zeba man man evening that is by 9 pm the units are also divided now tomorrow as i said i will be starting with teaching aptitude okay notes on all the topics in the pdf format will be given last 10 years question papers along with answer key will be given so that you get an idea exactly what is the correct answer and how to come through that test series uh, consisting of 2500 plus questions uh, is a part of what your mock test you can uh, go through global online also you can get all this facility with the help of global online as well as you can ping us on the whatsapp in case if you are going with an uh, going on global online app you can just go to the google play store download global online you can see the icon over here okay uh, once you are downloading or installing that it will be asking you for registration with the help of mobile number and you will get an otp once you have entered the otp you will get a interface like that so you can you know search for ugc net course paper 1 now once you go for paper 1 this is the interface which you will get and the course fee will be given but as i said this is the initial start so maybe today is the last day for the discount coupon which we have kept you have a coupon code you can get this coupon code option once you click on that option you will be getting a discount coupon code option and then the final price of the product will be given and you can purchase a product once you have purchased the product you will get an option like content once you click on the content you will get all the units in sequence uh now what does unit consist of theory lectures mcq lectures notes mock test and evaluation test now you know what is the intention of the evaluation test so that you are practice becomes you know perfect and after every lecture evaluation test is planned today also we have evaluation test on the app that is the code of the evaluation test is hes004 you can go to this code click on this code five questions are there you can attempt this questions okay it will not take more than 5 minute but this daily practice will definitely build up you know your habit of alertness time limit and all those things and it will make your final examination uh, practice easier that's all so this is what we have for paper 1 and the paper 2 we also have notes and mcqs available the list of the subjects is given on the slide you can read it out in case if you are interested for this the fees is 1000 rupees you can get in touch with the whatsapp number you can ping on the whatsapp number and get the further details if in case if you have any queries only the listed subjects as as of now are ready so in case if you i mean to say if you are following in this one of the category you can go ahead choice is yours now let's start for the day so today we have last 15 questions last when i why i'm saying because from tomorrow we will be having new unit so again we will come back to this unit after the entire cycle is completed so don't worry before the examination once again we will be doing this unit and yes uh, very soon this unit's crash course also i'll be coming crash course i have done theory crash course i have done with teaching aptitude if you know 
crash course of research aptitude also i have completed now crash course of higher education i'll come so that time i'll give you a very much uh, clarity on uh, what are the bodies what are the commissions and a quick revision we can do but maybe this crash course will be little lengthy it may be stretched to 2 hours because lot of topics are there in this or i have to do it in part a and part b okay so let's see how it works out so now you know that from this unit there are five question total marks are 10 for every question you have two marks okay syllabus as we have taken yesterday's uh, questions were a mixture of all the part of syllabus today also we have a flavor of all this so we have learning uh, sorry institutions of higher learning uh, in ancient india we have seen question on this yesterday evolution of higher learning in post independence india along with research we have also seen question on this oriental convention and non conventional uh, yesterday we saw non conventional programs with an help of example professional technical and skill based education we did in detail yesterday environmental education topic very well and along with the previous your question paper also question also and policies governance and administration so this is the topic and i will ensure that in the theory crash course i will once again revise it you know sequence so that you know you can recall the things fine so let's start with the first question for the day so now just little bit you know ensure that your speed of answering is improving in, in initially if you were taking you know 5 minutes of one question see that it has been reduced to 4 minutes so that you can you know you can keep a tap on your time limit so which of the statutory body of a university has a power to accord now what is the meaning of accord that is to grant a formal approval to the program and courses of study I'll read again the question which of the following uh, sorry which of the following is a statutory body of a university which has a power to accord that is nothing but to grant formal approval of the programs and courses of study so whether it is senate whether it is syndicate whether it is academic council or whether it is board of studies we have started with the answers fine others also those who are live uh, just ensure that you are participating properly in the questions so that it will help you to practice very well okay fine all mix answers are coming 1 d b a c everything is there on the uh, chart okay one c okay fine so what is the question about it is a, it is a statutory body which uh, has a power or you can say authority with respect to formal approval for the programs and courses of study so the right answer is which many of them have given but others have completely confused so the right answer is academic council now bit of messy this slide will look but i have written everything over here you know properly so let's understand one by one what exactly it talks about so when we talk about senate okay it's nothing but a academic senate okay it's a governing body now please remember all this terminologies also properly and the meanings also they are all related to education but in a different way so when i talk about senate it is an governing body in some universities and colleges and it has an authority you know with academics with respect to the institution so it is it is it it differs from institution to institution or co university to un college to college so maybe you know any specific university or colleges has a senate member or a body which will look into academic authority so they have entire academic authority syndicate now those who answered syndicate syndicate is nothing but your peer learning which involves it is it's actually a learning uh, you know wherein small groups are involved with a uh, like for example 5 to 6 in number or 6 to 8 in number so syndicate it is not at all it's an odd man out fine academic council is nothing but the academic body of institute and uh, subject to the provisions of memorandum of association that is nothing but the rules and regulations which have the responsibility for the maintenance of standards of education 
so academic councils are the one who has the authority towards the standard of education teaching training interdepartmental co coordination and research which is a part of what as a part of a program or a course so we have academic council who are who is in statutory body for the approval or who has the authority for the approval of program and courses when we talk about board of studies so board of studies is a statutory body that reports to academic council uh, through the dean concerned the member concerned each academic department has a board of studies okay so like for example if you are teaching in various courses so depending upon the courses you are teaching every course has a dedicated board of studies okay whether it is commerce whether it's management whether it's you know arts so according to that so board of studies report to whom to ac academic council and academic council is the one who has an authority for the approval with respect to standards of education teaching training as well as coordination and research please keep this in mind though this was uh, one of the question but you should know all the options very clearly yesterday i have have shown you how with one topic only they can make n number of questions so make a note of it very well fine going ahead with question number 2 now see again in question number 2 we have a question on higher education uh, institution of higher learning yesterday also we did one question on characteristics of higher learning uh, that is higher education learning so today they have got an indicators okay so which of the following are the indicators you can talk indicators is nothing but parameters of external accountability of an institution of higher learning so when we talk about the indicators that is nothing but parameters uh bilal what you want me to explain again what topic you have not understood synet syndicate academic council board of studies anything okay okay fine i'll just before i go to that question see when we talk about synet no synet is is with respect to the college a body a body in an uh, a specific college or a specific university who is in charge of academic decisions okay supreme authority but they do not represent the entire you know uh, i mean to say the state or center they are only restricted to respective college or university is it clear second thing that is syndicate when we talk about syndicate syndicate is nothing but a peer learning uh, group a small group fine when we talk about academic council they are the they are the one who are in charge of making the rules and regulations in order to maintain standards in education teaching training coordination and research so when we say teaching so programs and course of study uh, sorry courses of studies is the approval uh, part comes to academic of council and who reports to academic of council board of studies reports to academic of council and board of studies are are again a statutory body but depending upon the academic department so different different department has represents different different board of studies and these board of studies has to convey their uh, information or uh, decisions to the academic council and academic council when will finally take the final call is it clear okay yes uh, year sunita senate uh, senate in parliament year it is with reference to education so don't get confused with that okay can i get last four lectures on youtube bhushan uh, can to kindly check in the description box all the five lecture links i have added in the description box okay five lectures of all higher education system is it clear now okay shall we move ahead now i hope i have cleared the doubt very well and the explanation is also proper now so that you can understand what is the difference okay bilal reva i hope you are uh, clear with the doubts now question number 2 which of the following are the indicators now what is the meaning of indicators indicators is the parameters for external accountability for an institution of higher learning so when we talk about parameters of institution of higher learning what are they accountable for now we have done this type of question yesterday but in a different way see the same question they have twisted in a different way yesterday if you remember we did characteristics okay uh, but they have mixed this today little bit in a different way and they have given in front of you the question so now they are talking about indicators so the options are given provision of professional development of teachers utilization pattern of library and technical course resources sorry 
relevance of course to the societal needs performance of students and public examination employment pattern of pass out students so if i talk about this okay we, uh, madhumita has already answered again i'm repeating for those who have not uh, read it so this is nothing but a parameters or indicators uh, wherein the higher in higher learning institution is accountable for so they have given you the codes you have to select the codes and tell which is the right code which they are accountable for and which they are not accountable for okay okay we have started getting answers b c okay fine i'm just giving time uh, to others so that you know everyone can get can do justice with the question and can come up with their own uh, answers rather than just getting tensed by looking at the speed of others take your time but come up give your own thoughts towards the question and then uh, go for the answer okay today lot of old students after long time i'm seeing everyone okay fine so now when we talk about indica indicators or parameters of higher institution uh, higher sorry institution of higher learning now yes the right answer has many of them have okay answers are still coming fine so i'm just taking little bit time i'm killing the time so that everyone can get a chance to answer and know the right answer the right answer is option number c now c why if you look at the uh, question parameters of institution of higher learning okay if you remember we have done this yesterday also professional development of teacher is the responsibility of that particular you know a uh, particular uh, institution or a uh, uh, college okay utilization pattern of library and technical resources again is not the duty of higher learning i mean the institution of higher learning that is with respective you know uh, Uh, I mean, colleges, so that it again will definitely not be a part of parameter accountability. Yes, but relevance of the course with the societal needs very true. Performance of students in examination, employment pattern to pass out the students. Yes, so that is you know all this is what it's de depending or it is connected to what institutions of higher learning wherein they are not only providing the industrial interface, they are not only provided uh, looking at the performance, but they are also providing the employment at opportunity, and that's what higher institutions of higher learning are looked at. Okay, Shefali, ma'am, you should bring more MCQs. means in this i didn't get more mcq means what you what do you mean by that this is third this is the second set of mcq shefali uh, we have done theory from jan then we did one set of mcq this is second set of mcq and again third will come so on an average if i'm not wrong for a particular unit we definitely cross 300 to 400 mcqs so just just you know get all the links properly i i in description box i do everything now today's description box is only having latest links that is five links if you want to go for earlier links then i have to one specific description box i have to type everything and i'll I have to give you okay fine yes now question number 3 everyone which of the following modality of higher education is the example of uh evolution in the post independence india now i have purposely not written the meaning of modality over here i have written it in the next slide uh, because if you you should know now how to you know understand the meaning of the uh, vocabulary in order to come to the correct answer can we get uh, numix for sdg ma'am yes yes deepa you have been uh, you have reminded me this earlier also yes i will work on that numix of sdg in order to keep that in sequence no i will work out just give me one or two days i'll come out with it uh, if you want i'll make a, a special video only on that okay so yes which of the following is the mod following modality of higher education is the example of evolution so if you see this basically this question is from the second sub topic evolution of uh, learning in post independence india so what what is the what type of you know evolution we have done in post independence india whether it is reference to teacher education whether it is technical education whether it is legal education or whether it is distance education uh, little bit of confusion confusion is going on in this question but okay anyways answer i will tell you
waiting there are so many students online but um, answers are not that much so others even if you don't know try to participate push yourself you know otherwise the same attitude remains in the examination also so give a try you will definitely learn the skill okay okay madhumita fine now see i this question is about you know uh, if you have read the question correctly the second half of the question what is an example of evolution in the post independence period what exactly was the difference in the post independence period and if i am not wrong i only saw one right answer out of all one no two three okay two three answers are right two two students have given right answers okay bhushan yes i will clear your confusion now when we talk about uh, modality basically it is it is talking about learning modalities okay so the right answer is distance education why yes i'll i'll come i'll come to it modality is nothing but learning styles okay bilal now here if you see i have written that the reason i have brought and this can be connected in two ways learning modalities because we are talking about higher education so here modalities is nothing but learning styles so learning styles are the sensory channels or pathway through which individual give receive and store information the four widely accepted learning modalities you know which we have used in our communication also that is visual auditory reading writing or kinesthetic but here what this modalities they are talking about is it it means that something which was completely different in the post independence period and that was the set of distance education not technical education see technical education was there before i mean to say in pre independence period period also it was only distance education where you know which give a complete new look towards the learning styles please remember that very well so you have to you know understand the question and accordingly but that's the reason i have written over here when you talk about modalities in communication we have done this visual auditory reading writing and kinesthetic but here the modalities about the difference in the post independence period and that was with the help of what the distance education the learning style in the form of distance education is it clear okay coming to question number 4 now we have done this it is little bit similar but not exactly see how again they have changed the question with the same topic in the university education system okay in the university education system as prevalent now which of the following bodies or committees looks after formal approval of curriculum and courses of study i'll read the question once again those students who are doing uh, mistake with the options no i hope you are understanding um, what exactly mistake you are making and that's the reason i see uh, you are you are hearing no it will after a week time even if i bring that question back no you will do a mistake that's the reason i am emphasizing a lot on keeping a written notes it will really help you out one revision you will able to recall everything so please put that habit i know this is maybe the speed is bit faster but try to write in the you know your short forms you which which you can understand and able to recall it okay so in the university education system as prevalent now which of the following bodies or committees looks after the formal approval of curriculum and courses of study so whether it is university executive council or board of management whether it is academic council of concerned university whether it is board of studies or whether it is university court so what exactly one one who looks after the curriculum and the courses we have done this right now uh, those students who have joined bit late we have done this in the question number 1 itself uh, so please refer to that when we talk about anything reference to a approval of curriculum as well as courses so who is the one who is in charge of that or who is the having authority for the same so it is none other than council academic council please remember now university court is the one which handles the grievances board of studies is the one who report to academic council board of management does not looks into that so it is nothing but academic council see this is the second question on academic council but the different type of question so that's what you know you have to remember now how the questions are changing with the same content or the same concept please remember that okay fine yes now go let's go to question number 5 
okay for the uh, now this again see there is this actually total quality management is a concept of management only but now they are talking about total quality management in education and it is it is applicable so total quality management is nothing but the one which takes care of quality okay so what they are saying that for the introduction of the concept of total quality management in universities it means in education which of the following will be considered helpful so they are saying that this concept has to be used in university so what will really help out system thinking uh, participatory management rigorous admission procedure uh, that is walk that's nothing but strength weakness opportunities and challenge analysis or in introduction of skill development program so what will be helpful in total quality management okay i will explain you one one or two concepts over here because if you this actually is a management concept any any non management student will get confused so i'll just explain you first you answer me the question okay Uh, yeah, your elimination also will come. Okay, Revti, yes, yes. I will in. Uh, I will explain you everything. I will explain you total quality management in education also, and I will explain you the question. There are one two again words from you know, from the concept of management. But uh, what total quality management? If you want to understand what is total quality management, it is a process. Okay, basically. it is a technique okay but now you can say it is a process which uh, find outs okay uh, the uh, issues or problems or you know errors and works on uh, you know improving that so you you have to ensure that the quality which is not in place has to be managed managed it means it has to be worked on so that is the uh, meaning of total quality management uh, with reference to the concept okay now in that also there are lot of uh, options given but i'll tell you now if i'm talking about just now what i said revti uh, reva that was with respect to the concept in education it it means that you know whatever techniques are been used suppose the techniques are you know like for example not working they have to come up with an i but brainstorming and it has to work as per the uh, demand you know which is required for the particular course or for the particular student or for the particular section of uh, i mean to say uh, maybe the group or you can say for class so in that you can put everything in a right form so doing everything in a right form it's a concept of total quality management uh, students have little bit you know confused with the question so i will come to it only hardly few students have answered it okay okay actually there is one elimination also if that elimination you understand no you will come up with the yes 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 it is related manoharan okay so let me explain this answer uh, majority of them have said right but there are some equal wrong answers also so the right answer is actually option number a now now let me explain one by one so the first thing what you have to understand what is total quality management in education uh, to total quality management is nothing but ensuring that the quality education is delivered but before that that uh, i mean to say there are factors which are found out where the quality is not in place so there is quality circles conducted it means you know the, the the meeting the committees have been set who will look after enhancement of quality in education so that is total quality management so something which is not in place is brought in place like for example giving tutorials so tutorial is nothing but you know a way of improving the quality so that is a part of total quality management so that is the meaning of total quality management now your options were what system thinking now what is the meaning of system thinking system thinking is nothing but a holistic approach holistic approach okay it means that entire system is been looked at so when you talk about total quality management in education sector the entire education sector is looked up not only students entire stakeholders i can say okay so yes system thinking is very important because we have to look from an holistic point of view 
पार्टिसिपेटरी मैनेजमेंट येस ना एज मधुमिता सेट वेरी करेक्टली रिग्रस एडमिशन प्रोसीजर सी एडमिशन प्रोसीजर इज ओनली वन एलिमेंट बट वी जस्ट नाउ आई सेट नो वी हैव टू लुक एट ऑल द एलिमेंट्स इट मीन सिस्टम सो जस्ट वन एलिमेंट विल नॉट हेल्प अस टू ब्रिंग एंटायर टोटली क्वालिटी मैनेज टोटल क्वालिटी मैनेजमेंट सो ऑप्शन नंबर सी इज रॉन्ग स्ट्रेंथ वीकनेसेस वी शुड नो अपॉर्चुनिटीज वी शुड नो एंड वी शुड नो द चैलेंजेस ऑल्सो येस दिस ऑल्सो हैज टू बी इम्पॉर्टेंट वैन वी आर लुकिंग एट क्वालिटी एंड इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ स्किल डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम्स विच विल गिव यू यू नो विच विल एनहांस द स्किल्स इट मीन्स इट विल एनहांस द क्वालिटी सो ऑप्शन नंबर सी हैज टू बी एलिमिनेटेड एंड देन कम्स योर राइट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन नंबर ए इज इट क्लियर ओके येस इट इज इट इज पेपर वन क्वेश्चन बिकॉज दिस topic is with reference to total quality management in education so please remember they have given it clearly see total quality management in universities is it clear fine okay so let's go ahead now i hope it is very clear to everyone okay now chronological sequence uh, now in the recent cycle such questions are seen little bit less but there will be one definite question with chronological sequence okay so all india radio consortium of education i am giving you the acronym full form uh, ugc that is university grant commission and gyanwani so arrange them in the chronological order kiran mai i hope it is clear with you why it will come in your uh, question number paper number 1 the question Shefali no I do not take commerce class on YouTube I only have management that also I have a long breaks in that management class Okay waiting for the answer hardly two students have answered what about others others I hope no google is going on you are very truth truthful to yourself you ugc we have done in last four cycles we have done ugc so you should remember ugc year gyan vani also we did if you remember we did gyan dhara the topic of gyan dhara that time i told you the year of gyan dhara gyan vani so you should remember that let's see whether with the help of that can you arrange it a uh, lot of wrong answers are coming chronological sequence which sequence students are going i i mean the why students are going in reverse order okay the answer is not option number d i don't know why option number d is coming for six all india radio 1936 ugc 1956 consortium of education that is you know uh, that is 1993 and then gyan vani that is 2001 why why that reverse order came i didn't get for what reason it's it's surprising uh bilal uh, this all topics i have done in my theory lecture but uh, in case if you want i will do it in the crash course okay crash course i will do it in everything you just see to you were there i mean to say you just see last four days we are doing you just see very well gyan vani the educational channel with the help of ignu that is three type of channels they have that is doordarshan television this is radio channel and one is i mean to say the another is gyan dhara that is called as what uh, the counseling channel okay is it clear yes smita thank you very much uh, for that but uh, okay bilal i hope you have heard uh, what i said other doubt anyone is having uh, any other doubt apart from this okay bilal ugc and gyanwani i have told you so when when i talk about uh, all india radio that is a uh, akashwani that is broadcaster you broadcasting you can say a division of Uh, prasar bharati okay and consortium of education which looks after the uh, school i meant say undergraduate education not school sorry undergraduate education is it clear fine yes now the full form of neet a recently launched scheme of mhrd 
government of india actually it's recently word i should have cancelled uh, so please uh, just because this is one of the university question only but uh, shreya consortium for educational communication that is cec it is okay consortium for educational communication consortium is nothing but association if you remember we have done this yes shabna thank you very much and i hope you have uh, heard it shreya and the meaning of consortium also i have told you it's nothing but it is called as what association committee fine okay this answer is coming very quickly but all mixed type of answers again to uh, b c both confusion is there okay majority of them are right okay uh yes before we go ahead neelam yesterday you were saying about that value question but i have explained in the form of uh, match the following also same question still you didn't get uh after i left i saw your message later okay so yes that is option number b majority of you have done it correctly that is national education alliance for technology now year c uh, there can be there is an a very important update on this okay i'll just use another color pen so that you can just make a note of it okay now please see this is one of the important update which you have to you know remember this is latest one okay so the national educational alliance for technology is been implemented by all india council that is aict which aims now remember this which aims to bridge between educational technology companies and academic institutions and student okay which was founded in 2 2019 september now there is an update on this education minister okay and skill development need 3.0 that is a higher version on uh, was launched on jan 3rd 2022 is a single platform this is very very important because this is 2022 latest update so you should remember this very well now here it is 3.0 it talks about what a single platform to be to give the best developed educational technology solutions and courses to the student so in case if you get an 3.0 so you can get either the aim of that or the year so year is 2022 that is 3rd of jan and the aim is that under one single platform all the educational technology uh, you know courses can be launched with the solutions so please remember this this is one thing which is very important and latest so you should just have a note of it okay fine now question number 8 ugc again see there is a question on ugc again but in a different way which of the following is the statutory function of ugc now this should not go wrong by anyone this is the fifth day which i am doing ugc question and you should know i told you yesterday also mark some topics which are very important like for example ugc but the only thing is that the type of question which comes it's completely unpredictable so you should know in and out of ugc so when we say that which of the following is the statutory function of you know you just see so you should be able to answer me very 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 correctly i hope i'm 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 waiting for the answer and i have i have want 100% right answers till the time i'll read the options that is to appoint teaching faculty to control the conduct of examination to determine and maintain the standard of teaching and research to develop curriculum for university courses so which among see you may say that all are important but try to understand they are asking which among is the statutory function of ugc okay that the spirit you know such i should i should really uh, get panic by seeing so much of uh, answers coming in flow and yes very good everyone so now this is very clear that is the statutory function of c uh, ugc is nothing but to determine the standard of teaching and research in university we have done this yesterday also so please remember mark yourself mark ugc a important topic take one day properly at least one hour read all the aspects of ugc and keep it ready because this question definitely comes okay in any form it will come but it will come now yes 
Now very easy question I have given. We have done this n number of time. Now also we did some of them. Neptil Consortium of Educational Communication. I told you also NCRT, NIOS, and ITTR. What are they related to? Column A that is list A and list two. You have to match them up. So let's see. I hope all are seeing the question. Everything is perfect. There is no answer yet. This is one of the easiest question actually. We have done this n number of times in teaching aptitude. Also, we have done under Swayam. That is the coordinators under nine, nine coordinators of Swayam. We have done this very well. Okay, nine, nine, nine. Some are, some of them are not writing question in hurry. Please do write the question. It becomes easier for me. Okay, very good. Great. Okay, yes. So hundred percent Neptil that is engineering program, Consortium of Education which talks about undergraduate education, NCRT and NIOS talks about school education, and NITTR which talks about what teacher training program. Yes, Manoharan, CC is for UG education, undergraduate education. Yes. Very good, everyone. So two questions. I mean, this is even. It's not that the questions are easy. When you know the concepts, no, it becomes really important, and then definitely you get the right answer. But you have to be careful, ah. Huh? Don't be in, you know, just jump by seeing the repeated questions. You know, some twisting should be. There must be done. So be careful for that. Yes. Now creation of world class. Now please read this question very properly. Creation of world class universities. World class, okay? It means with the t facilities. So whether uh, what does it requires? Does it requires autonomous governance? Does it requires funding? Does it requires evaluation mechanism? Does it require independent outcomes or does it require appointment of staff by state machinery? Okay. So what does the a uh, world class university uh, will be in need of from the given following lectures pankaj uh, ma'am your theory lecture available on global channel yes uh, pankaj see my no theory lectures are since last one year so if you want to have latest because from jan i took all the late i mean this a, a different set of theory lectures which updated notes so if you want just give me some time i will put you the links of theory lectures of latest one jan 1 in your group okay shabna i didn't get you what you are saying other options c1 so you mean to say that one is which is right you connected with that that's what but yes all those were regular names so i don't think so coming with that question right answer is a difficulty fine okay yes d option number d d d okay c okay fine so let's let's uh, let's understand uh, i hope there should be no trouble to come with this particular question but then still okay when we talk about uh, the question that is when we talk about the world class universities okay so let's understand what does the world class universities you know um, it talks about okay or it talks about yes it is nothing but autonomous governance it means flexibility you know with respect to rules and regulations so whether it is administration whether it is teaching all it comes in that governance part okay rules and regulations then for funding yes without funding the world class university when we talk about funding there are a lot of things not only only infrastructure the facilities to the students okay including the infrastructure and the rest of the facilities for which without funding it is not possible evaluation mechanism uh, that does not makes a university world class now that depends you know uh, what exactly uh, maybe a small institute or a college may also have you know the world class evaluation mechanism so evaluation mechanism is not a requirement then we have independent outcomes yes the you know what exactly are the results an appointment of staff staff that now yes no doubt it is required but not as compared to the given options fine okay yes yes i got that is uh, i understood what you meant to say uh, 
शबना दैट आई गॉट इट ओके नाउ येस वेन वी टॉक अबाउट वर्ल्ड क्लास यूनिवर्सिटी हु एज ओके I just someone has put that question also world class university no reva okay so reva when we talk about world class university no which uh, actually includes you know the intellectual the development and which is uh, recognized or which is you can say which has been uh, uh, identified with the help of global ranking okay so that is it's called as what a world class university they also have one of the lecture i have done the ranking of world class university also latest i will find and keep when we are coming to second session round no that time we will do that world class okay is it clear so fine is it clear with everyone yes now question number 11 uh select the alternative feature which make open universities as non traditional universities so which of the features make the universities as what you know a uh, non traditional universities uh, ashwini i'm coming wait i'm coming to your uh, doubt also innovative method of teaching and learning innovative method of admission curriculum and evaluation modern communication techniques or teacher friendly approaches see non traditional please now non traditional it means they do not go with the traditional method they go with you know a different modern methods you can go so which of them can be the right option now yes evaluation mechan mechanisms it means you know the tools and instrument which you use for assessment that is the meaning ashwini okay 11th yes uh, shabna your answer is missing you just put 11th question your answer is not there Eleventh, ah, uh, yes, okay. You can even go with odd man out over. Ah, uh, no, odd man out. Okay, I did a mistake over here. Sorry, it's one mistake is there, but it's okay. Let's see. Either you people are able to recognize it. Just now I saw that. okay now see um yes over here my there was a small mistake by me that is option number b and option number d okay are are similar i think that codes i went to change but it was it didn't happen okay so yes when we talk about non traditional universities you can eliminate okay option number b as well as option number d now in this case if you get such question in university you, uh, exam you are lucky to get bonus point but it never happens okay so do not uh, uh, be under that uh, impression so actually if you see non traditional universities it means teacher friendly approaches are not see teacher friendly approaches is not a it is it's not a future or sorry it is not a feature of uh, or alternative feature of non traditional university it it emphasizes more on what it emphasizes more on dynamism more on creativity and more on innovation okay so yes innovation innovation in not only teaching but also learning innovative process in curriculum evaluation as well as admission procedure and you know co communication technique but not with respect to teacher friendly approaches okay so yes in that sense b and d are the right answers so uh, those who said b is also right and those who said d is also right okay non traditional universities it means you know which goes with the modern way of uh, uh, education system now when i say modern way of education system bilal it means they take into consideration every aspect teaching learning curriculum evaluation method over overall so that is how it is called as non traditional is it clear okay now question number 2 now this also question can confuse you but let's let's see how many of you are able to do it correctly choose the institutions which are not authorized to confer it means to distribute the degree according to ugc act 1956 now uh, when i talk about institutions they are institutions established under linguistic mi minority deemed to be universities constituent colleges or affiliated colleges what are they uh, jyoti yes this this uh, classes no are in english that is 9 pm and morning 7:30 classes are in hindi so if you want you can join 
that 7:30 class this this batch is basically english from day 1 i have not used any hindi lecture over here jyoti okay because there are students who do not understand hindi so let's us let us keep it neutral uh deepa what admission procedure the previous question you went to say can you tell me what admission procedure what where you got confused okay update okay so that is a part of uh, this again why this buffering is signs are coming i don't know since yesterday no i also have noticed there is a small glitch but don't worry it will go within certain time man confusion shreya what confusion first of all you tell me that uh, this right answer here is option number d option number d that is institution institutions which are established under ling linguistic min minority this is just to confuse you so you, whether it is your linguistic minority whether it is deemed university or affiliated colleges no it will definitely uh now it's okay i'll just just i don't know yesterday also there was some fraction for a fraction of second there was some uh, problem so just i hope i will just wait for a minute so that you know now can you tell me is it perfect so that i can give the explanation i'll just wait for uh, for you to give me the message i will explain this question but i'm waiting is it okay for everyone now is that buffering stopped is buffering stopped can you one of you revert me back so that i can give okay yes yes fine fine let me uh, tell you one thing over here now here we talk about the institutions which are not authorized to confer the degree now see whether it is institutions under the linguistic minority whether it is deemed university or affiliated colleges they are you know uh, sorry whether it is institutions which are established under linguistic minor minority institutions which are under are under the constituent colleges or affiliated colleges first of all let me tell you const what is the constituent colleges it is nothing but you know the college which looks after what a uh, basically welfare as well as teaching facility okay if you if you find it is something which indicates welfare and teaching responsibility now how does constituent college differs from affiliated college okay let me first clear the ink okay now when i say that an affiliated college okay is an institution that works under a collaboration a bigger uh, like for example you uh, university so like for example take a take an example of pune university take an example of mumbai university take an example of nagpur university so under this universities there are affiliated colleges okay now a constitute college or ra rather you can say constituent college are the colleges which are only under the uh, i mean to say deemed uh, or you can bigger campuses they are a part of that campuses they are not you know they are not different they are a they are a part of that campuses so they are within that campuses so it means that uh, only and only the see please remember here the question is not a uh, which are not authorized so it is only deem university which is authorized to give their own uh, i mean to say degree rest all colleges has to follow the rules and regulations is it clear is the confusion clear a little bit of glitch has you know uh, maybe has so i have explained everything again or any doubt let me refresh because is my message is also stopped like just a minute okay just a second i am just refreshing the messages okay yes i'll just read now the messages continue okay now deemed university or deemed to be university okay again is nothing but you know it is granted as an higher educational institution which is definitely i mean to say institution of higher education you can say which works at a very high standard uh, with a specific you can say uh, rules regulations uh, which is declared by the central government under the advice of ugc so remember this thing also very well that higher education in india okay whether it is public or you know private universities uh, they have 
apply, they can apply for both i mean to say they whenever they fulfill the conditions they can apply it for this uh, status of deemed to be university or it is called as deemed university which is of higher standards with reference to specific uh, norms and regulations is it clear shreya yes now yes the community colleges now here autonomous yes you can call them as autonomous also i'm sorry just know the messages were not now it has appearing all i'll just look at the messages one by one because i don't know some there was some okay now okay one by one i think there are a lot of uh, doubts in this okay i'll come again to this uh, question first we'll go to 16th question and then we'll come again to this okay Uh, sorry for 13th question and that question i'm com coming because i didn't get messages now i've got messages but i couldn't see so just give me some time till the time i read the messages i'll come to all the doubt okay now yes the community college have the provision for what now in case if you do not know community college is nothing but a local college okay so what type of provisions they have a single admission concurrent admission self financing system or teaching at home so what type of community colleges provisions it means rule okay so what do you mean by rules which comes under community colleges I hope everyone has read the question. Okay. I'm I'm extremely sorry for this. I don't know. My messages have again stacked. I'm just refreshing. Just a minute. Give me some time. i'm not getting messages i'm extremely sorry i don't know what is it buffering for others now also okay wait i have got 13th question community colleges i said community colleges is nothing but uh, it is called as local colleges okay fine so yes the community colleges which have a provisions for what it is basically the concurrent admission now what do you mean by this concurrent admission okay now community college as i said is an institution under india's higher education system that aims of providing job oriented education which is all in another term it is also called as what a local college okay to so the students from the local communities it is a system that provides education above secondary and below degree level with different skill oriented as well as traditional courses now please uh, yes it's clear no uh, yes i'll just let let me uh, i have got started getting all the messages now so just give me one minute i'll just come in case if i'm skipping anything don't worry i'll come back to your doubts very well so when i say community colleges community colleges are also known as what they are known as local colleges okay a particular uh, lakshman not exactly a particular group of people it can be for any group of people but with an or i mean to say with an uh, objective of what skill orientation okay so that that what happens is that the aim is basically to ensure that you know job is given the students get or the pro provision of job is given to the students so that is the community colleges so it they can confuse you with community colleges uh, concurrent admissions okay wait a minute now see now sing uh, when we talk about uh, first of all i hope everyone is clear with community uh, sorry community colleges it means a local colleges which have the facility of providing traditional courses with a respect or with a aim of job okay job orientation now when i say it uh, what is the meaning of concurrent admission now concurrent admission is that set of admissions where the student can you know get into a program actually uh, uh, and can also enhance his skills means in some of the uh, books it is written as dual okay dual it means where can the students can learn two things at a time now two things here it means one is his studies and second his upliftment of a skill so that he gets a job that is a meaning is it clear fine okay any doubt in this i have skipped some messages 
so just excuse me for that because i'm just going to the previous messages and checking meanwhile we will go still if your doubt is not clear please put your message again because i've skipped lot of messages okay now the who negotiation on higher education deals with what okay so who has certain negotiations with respect to higher education now what does it deals with okay uh, that is world trade organizations i am talking about it has certain negotiation with respect to education uh, which deals with certain issues like what education has a free service vig uh, vigorous uh, social affirmation in developed countries assigning important role for civil society education as a trade education as a commodity or withdrawal of public sector from higher education so which of the following are the certain issues which are you know which are a part of higher education system i am just yes shefali i i just saw your message right now i'll come to your doubt also wait okay D don't worry i'll come to your doubt just let us complete first this i'll repeat once again that part concurrent there are two three students who have talked spoke about concurrent i'll come to concurrent once again elimination also if you can go you will get this answer but let's see how you are going okay question number 14 yes question number 14 c it's not option number uh, a i don't know why majority of said as option number a you know now see first of all is we are talking about educate higher education now please remember those who have given as option number a okay they are talking about what they are talking about higher education higher education is not cannot be given as a free service we have spoke on this very well so you can eliminate easily option a higher education is not that you know easy to give it as free service so option number a will be you know cancelled you see if it it's not primary or secondary education it's higher education which requires lot amount of investment okay on funding also so it cannot be given free a vigorous social affirmation uh, affirmation in developed countries assigning important role for civil society uh, does not makes any sense you know with respect to uh, i mean to say issue when you talk about issue there are so many things you know not only this particular part there are some cer cer certain things on priority which also has to taken into consideration now the main thing which which is talking about the main issues of education is here they have not given us clearly but see education as a trade now when we talk about education as a trade it means in the sex in the uh, field of education also corruption is going on okay that is how the trade shabna that is how it is called as trade like for example there are so many yes how education can become trade that's what i'm explaining there are many such seats okay especially a uh, medical seats or not only medical all over the seats wherein where the candidate is not able to get it into a uh, legal form get gets into a different mean and that's how you know it is called as what it is called as education as a trade it's it's like a business rather than you know a noble profession now education as a commodity it's nothing but again it is the same sentence is repeated but in the form of what in the form of commodity okay withdrawal of public sector from higher education which should not happen because public sector you know can help the students with scholarship because as i said higher education is not that easy to gain with respect to what funding so that should not be done it should not make it should not be made privatized because privatization will again bring lot of you know trade who it means world trade organization okay is it clear is it clear this answer is clear very well fine when we talk world trade organization see it is you know it is basically talking about what meanal uh, negotiations not negotiation means not taking it means it is uh, uh, talking on such issues i mean to say it is uh, 
bargaining you can tell or it is dealing with cert certain issues that you can say is it clear fine okay now coming to your uh, point of uh, question this one uh, neelam uh, world trade organization i mean to say with respect to education as a form of economic development or growth you can say world trade organization has a full right to you know interfere in it is it clear fine yes now the last question of the day i know one question there is lot of doubt but i will take that question tomorrow first thing i am take tomorrow's class timing someone is asking it is 9 pm only tomorrow actually we are going to start teaching aptitude but one question no i will take it again okay tomorrow because this last set of questions there was little bit glitch also and then i i miss some messages if i go up there are lot of messages to read so i'll read it and note it down and clear your doubt tomorrow with that respect question okay last option uh, withdrawal of public sector from higher education will if you bring more of private sector no uh, scholarships or the students who are on the who can gain something on merit may not be given to them easily because the, because the costing will be more in that sector okay 15 the objective of indian government behind setting up that is higher education finance agency is to provide financial support to what improvement of infrastructure in premier institutes research projects research collaboration research collaboration between indian institutions and industry so for research we do not have higher education finance agency yes very true that you know if you go with the elimination round you know that option number a is the right answer but let's understand about this higher education uh, finance agency let's have a look at it okay so higher education finance agency is a joint venture company of canara bank and ministry of education of government of india that is mhrd now we called as ministry of education year c it's from this only from year only they have picked up the question here it provides financial assistance for creation of educational infrastructure and research and development in india's premier educational institution but not only you will tell ma'am your research 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 was there it was only research it does not takes into consideration only research but it takes into consideration infrastructure also and this is the main you know the meaning and from the meaning itself they have picked up the question see which was incorporated from 31st of may 2017 and now this is important paragraph again it it will mobilize resources from the market by way of equity for individuals in the form of bonds to you know to the, as per the financial requirement in short it provides financial assistance for the creation of you know educational infrastructure and research the same thing which is repeated this is from the meaning itself okay so be careful uh, if if you know the organizations their aim their functions their meaning and dates no even that much is enough for this particular unit okay fine yes today sorry even i got little bit uh, tired but anyways tomorrow no i will clear that two three questions and don't worry whenever we are coming with the next cycle of higher education no this last five questions again i'll take but tomorrow i'll take one question which we missed drastically today fine yeah thank you everyone and see you tomorrow sharp at 9 pm for our next uh, cycle new topic that is research, teaching aptitude okay thank you everyone